It's that time again. We're gonna check on the 99 cent store. Right? Because it's a week before the Dollar Tree drop. So they have one box, which I will go through. Thank you. I am so surprised that I found movies early at this Dollar Tree. Although it was just DVDs, it's still movies. Maybe I'm lucky today. So we're trying a new Dollar Tree that I haven't gone to. Uh, it's quite far from the house. Let's see if I'm as lucky as I was at the last Dollar Tree. Did they put anything out early? Not lucky this time. It's all the old stuff. As you can see. Oh well. Let's move in sense store in between the, the Dollar Tree. So this one is so nice. I'm definitely gonna explore this one. Here we go. They have a bunch at the 99 cent store. Oh, this looks promising. Let's dig in. We're at a smaller Dollar Tree, close to the 99 cent store. Let's see if they have anything. Oh, all old stuff. <sighs> Really old. Lots of exercise stuff. Here we are at the other 99 cent store. Remember we went to this one before. Hopefully we'll find stuff here too. Uh, the 99 cent stores are having better luck than Dollar Tree today. Stuff from before. What would they get? Same, I think. Today our snack is fried tofu. Yummy. Not my little kitty. I'm not eating my little kitty. Everyone knows what tofu is and I dip it into the sauce. This delicious sauce. Oh. It's crispy and delicious. Um, I ordered black, excuse me, lychee tea to wake me up. That's it, folks. Uh, remember this Dollar Tree? I don't know. We'll see. Let's dive in. Same stuff from before. Oh, definitely. Yeah. No luck at this one. Our last 99 cent store. This one's really picked over. We're at the pretty Dollar Tree. Oh, here we go. All old. Hello. Ha! It's Goy Hunter. And like I promised, I went to about four or five Dollar Trees pre-July 24th. And only one had some new stuff, mostly DVDs. So I grabbed what I could. But the 99 cent store saved the day. So this is basically what I'll be showing you. My Dollar Tree. And the 99 cent store that saved me, made me happy that I went out. But before we get started on the hauls, let's do something different. Okay, so you know I always um, have a giveaway. So this time, I will let the winner select. Either they can select the three digital codes or a box of DVDs from prior Dollar Tree hauls. There you go. You can pause and look at all the movies I have in there. I think there's 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
60. Here are the movies. These are all factory sealed DVDs from prior Dollar Tree hauls. Or you can select these digital codes. Chappaquiddick. Lucy with Scarlet. Scarlet. And or Hell on the Border. That is the new cowboy movie with the African American sheriff. Okay, so you can either pick the digital codes or the box of DVDs. Here we go with the rules. Pick a number between 1 and 150. You must be a subscriber to my channel. Submit your guess in the comment section. The winning number is the number closest without going over, which will be selected by the random number generator. Please, please check to see if the number you selected has already been taken. If so, please select another number. I will look over uh, about two or three times at all the numbers to make sure, but it's better if you check two. And then within 24 hours after this video is posted, I will select the winner and I'll make a quick video with the winner. Again, you can pick between the digital codes or the box of movies. Okay, like I said, I got mostly DVDs from the Dollar Tree that only one had anything new. So I started off with uh, Tom and Jerry, No Mice Allowed. I was excited to add this to my Tom and Jerry um, collection. Tom and Jerry, No Mice Allowed. I was excited. Then I found this. I I didn't see it before. I, I don't know if it's new. Curveball. Life doesn't always play fair. That's another sports film, I guess. Um, the only the only actor. It's a RLJ release. Uh, the only actor I recognized was Lynn Whitfield. I guess it's about a star pitcher in his high school and a troubled childhood. And there's some redemption at the end. Then I found this little gem. Americans National Park, the sights and sounds of Yellowstone National Park. I love to watch these little documentary tours because right now, you know, I'm, we're kind of trapped so I can escape into the DVDs that I find. So, oh, this is narrated by Kenny Rogers. Great. That's interesting. And it shows all the um, highlights of the park. The bison or buffalo, etc. Then, I'm not sure if I already had this one, but I grabbed it anyway. You can't have enough Nat Geo. Classics, natural disasters. I might have grabbed this before or something really close to it. But I want to be safe. It's a three DVD disc set. And it looked quite, quite interesting. In six classic programs, National Ge Geographic reveals the sheer power and strength of nature's greatest forces. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Tornadoes, hurricanes, avalanches. Wow. This looks very good. The next one I found was Una with Rooney Mara and Ben Mendelsohn. Let's see. This is a breathless thriller. Okay, I got my glasses. Okay, let's start over. So 15 years ago, 13-year-old Una Rooney Mar was seduced and then abruptly abandoned by Ray, that's Ben Mendelsohn, 
a crime for which he spent four years in prison. As she grows into an adult, Una's feelings for Ray haunt her. Oh, wow. That sounds complicated. Sounds like a good movie. Uh, the next one I saw, quite a few pick it up. People pick it up. Doe. Doe. This one, the I just recognize Mira Sovina's name. Some things are better left forgotten. And I'm sure everyone read the back. Let's see. It is about when John Hutton mysteriously awakens with no recollection of his past, but with the ability to speak dozens of language fluently, he decides to start a new life. Wow, that sounds great. Doe. The next one I found was Brit a British movie collection. And 50 features. Wow. And... And then it's, it came with um, Sherlock Holmes collection too. So it is a double box set. There you go there. Can you see it? Let me do it sideways there. So it comes with two box sets. And here's the spine, British mysteries collection. And it comes, wow, with quite a few. Let's see. Oh, this is starting from 1935. It's mostly 1930s. And, oh boy, black and white. You know who loves black and white. And then the Sherlock Holmes one. Uh, there's about, wow, 858 minutes. What a deal. So, British Mystery Collection. The next one is great. Um, the Rifleman, the original series, season four, volume one, episodes 111 to 126. I do have the other Rifleman from the other hall, so this will continue the collection. As you know, the Rifleman was Chuck Connors, an iconic TV actor back in the, let's see, I believe this was shot in the 50s. Oh, uh, Oh, it doesn't say. Anyway, this was 1961 to 62. What a great year, 1962. The Rifleman. The next one, oh, Mr. Charles Bronson. A three-movie collection, Death Wish 2, Death Wish 3, and Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. I saw other people get this too. So, I decided to grab it too. You can't have enough Charlie Bronson, the original revenge guy. Always getting revenge. He was a tough guy back then. Then, hopefully, I'll find this in Blu-ray when I go hunting again, the official day, July 24th, this Friday. Anthem of a Teenage Prophet. And all the YouTubers that I watch have been saying what a great movie this is. So, I mean, I was excited to find it, but I would be more excited if it was in a Blu-ray form. So this is based on an award-winning novel. A teenager's gift of premonition becomes a curse when after predicting the death of one of his friends. Wow, it's an Echo Bridge release. This is the spine. Good old Echo Bridge. I don't care what anyone says. I love them. Anyway, people have to realize uh, Echo Bridge is a, a distribution company. They're not the actual producing company. The producing company actually makes the movie and puts money into the movie and pays the salaries. The distribution company is the one that buys the rights to the movie to distribute on their label. Okay, enough said. Uh, then I found this, Chris Christopherson, Louise Guzman, Disappearances, Some Borders Are Not Meant to Be Crossed. That looks good. Good old Chris Christopherson. Well, let me try and read the back for you, a little for you. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, a colorful former bootlegger and smuggler Quebec Bill Bonahan, 
that's Chris Christopherson, rounds up his reluctant brother-in-law, his ex-con hired men, and his ultra-cautious 15-year-old son, and sets out on a, from rural Vermont for the Canadian wild wilderness to steal 20 cases of whiskey. Oh, great dad. He brings his kid on his heist. Oh, well. Another adventure western. Then I saw this one. This looked good. Recovery. Getting sober is a killer. There you go. Anything with a, a young lady with a knife in her hand. There's the back. This definitely looks like a thriller. Let's see. Dr. Jessica Barnes, an idealistic, wet be behind the ears. Uh, oh, there's, I'm so sorry, the sticker's covering the information. Oh, I guess he's trying to help people that, um, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I can't read it because, again, the, the Dollar Tree sticker. Okay, it's a thriller. Sorry, folks. Another Echo Bridge distribution. Next one. Oh, another BBC documentary. Diana, Seven Days. Wow. The things that are coming up about Diana's death in with Prince Andrew, etc. I'm not going to make any more comments, but... Huh. Uh, this features interviews with the Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry. This landmark 90-minute BBC documentary tells the inside story of the tumultuous and unprecedented week that followed the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. Oh, this sounds good. But I'm sure they're not going to tell all of it. The next one was consumed. What are you eating? And it came with a slip cover. I was very happy. And Danny Glover's on the front. And it also came with two bonus movies, Taking Back Our Town and Jewel. Cicely Tyson is in Jewel, the second movie. Oh, that's a great surprise. What a gem. Let's see, uh, Griffin Dunn is in this, da uh, Danny Glover, Anthony Edwards. Wow. Let's see, when Sophie, uh, son develops a rash that keeps spreading, his doctor's unable to find a cure, she, Sophie begins to investigate the GMOs in the, in the food. So that sounds, that's a good premise for a movie. That's new. And then I found, oh, everyone found this. Ninja 1 and 2 with my buddy, well, not my buddy, my favorite, Scott Atkins. I already have this in Blu-ray, but yeah, I saw it for a DVD for a while. The next one is The Takedown. It's a fight for redemption. More action. Yes. Goy Hunter loves action movies. And this, Wow. Let's see, this is another Echo Bridge. Uh, when UK government hitman Jack accidentally kills the son of his target, he breaks his employer's no mistake rule and becomes a target himself. That sounds exciting. That sounds great. The takedown. I don't recognize that actor. I Maybe he was in an MMA fighter. I'm not sure. And everyone has this. I saw everyone get shorty. Season one, Chris O'Dowd and Ray Romano, the complete first season. This is based off the movie Get Shorty with John Travolta, I believe. Yes. Oh, excuse me. It's inspired by the best-selling novel Get Shorty. Okay. And then I found this, The Office, season six. I snatched this baby up because I'm collecting the office and now I have season six. It, I think it's a digi book form. Um, I didn't open it, sorry. Oh, my glasses, sorry. The next one everyone found, Torchwood, a BBC series. 
This is a five disc set and it's the second season. Ooh, and it comes like that. You can take it out like a book. That's that's how Peppermint Tribe likes his. And then the only Blu-rays I found was the Guard of Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Based on true events. And I found Monster High Electrified. Look at all those pretty colors. I liked it. Anyway, I know my grandniece loves Monster High. So I'll be sending her those. Okay, now that's all the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, luckily, I was able to go to a few 99 cent stores. Well, there was one that hit. I hit the jackpot. And I was so happy. Here we go. 99 cent store to the rescue. Okay. So the first one is Sleeper Cell. Another action film. And this one, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's a political thriller. And I can't read it because it's covered by the sticker. Sorry. Well, it looks good. I don't recognize any of the act. Oh, I do recognize one actor. I believe that is Armando Santana. Okay, that's the first one. And then I found this great thing. Game Show Moments Gone Bananas. Oh, that looked hilarious. I snatched this sucker up. So it's featuring the wildest, hottest, and craziest clips from your favorite game shows. Beat the Clock, Card Shark, Child's Play, Family Feud, Match Game, Password, Press Your Luck, and many, many more. Oh, that's going to be fun. That's a documentary, I guess. Yeah. Then I found Scooby-Doo. The Goblin King original movie. This I'm um, at to my Scooby Doo collection. I found another documentary. Steve Jobs, The Man in the Machine. Bold, brilliant, and brutal. Nice portrait in the front. And this is a Magnolia release. Academy Award winning director Alex Gibney pulls no punches in his portrait of the Apple founder Steve Jobs and his legacy. Wow, that sounds very powerful. One second. Okay, thank you. I needed that. The next one, oh, I watched this film a while ago. Cold skin. Oh, I love. I believe it was a Dollar Tree. Oh, maybe last year. Anyway, this movie was so good. I loved it because it has creatures in it. Oh, okay. So it's about a, a lighthouse keeper. The younger guy comes to relieve him. He's telling him, watch out. He's acting weird. He doesn't believe it. And then these creatures show up. Oh, I just gave it away. I'm sorry. Well, there's a picture of the creature in the back. Anyway, I love my creature movies. So that was good. And I know this is already at the Dollar Tree, but it's also at the 99 cent store, The Shadow Man. The Shadow Man. The nightmare begins when you wake. And this is based on the infamous Shadow Man legend. And this is uh, on, oh, it's a Canadian film. Excuse me. Okay. And then I also got All Hallows Eve 2. Don't answer the door. I've never seen this. He wants you to watch. Here's the back. This is an RLJ release, 
and it's uh, alone on Halloween. A young woman finds a mysterious VHS VHS tape on her doorstep, a tape that shows a series of gruesome and ghastly tales that appear to be all too real. Uh, then the sinister pumpkin face killer is using the videotape as a portal into her reality. Oh, that looks, sounds scary. Okay, that's it. And then I found a very sordid wedding. This looks like a fun comedy. It's a gravitas venture release. And let's see. Marriage equality comes to a small Texas town. A serial killer, drag queens, and dysfunctional family collide driving toward an explosive night as a memorial service at the bar and an anti-equality rally at the church both go off the rails. Wow, that's a lot. A very sordid wedding. Looks very PC. The next one, I believe this was at Dollar Tree too. Sally Field, hello, my name is Doris, and I always wanted to watch this film. So now I got it. Famous Sally Field started off as Gidget the Flying Nun. She's not ready to act her age. It looks like a nice comedy. Uh, this is a Sony release. After a lifetime of being overlooked and ignored, Doris finds her world turned upside down by a handsome new co-worker and a self-help guru that inspires her to take a chance on love. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, oh, this. I was happy to find this. HBO Documentary Films presents By the People, The Election of Barack Obama. That looks so good. Exclusive access, too. Um, they have a lot of special features. Millions saw history made as Barack Obama took the podium on election night, but few witnessed his unguarded moments in the hours and days before he greeted the nation until now. Wow. Powerful stuff there. It sounds great. I'm excited to have that in my collection. And then I found some kid stuff. Everyone's Hero DVD and a digital code in there. It looked cute. Fun. Uh, this is a 20th Century Fox release. And, uh, let's see, directed and inspired by the heroic Christopher Reeve, Everyone's Hero is a fun-filled adventure for the whole family. Let's see, the voices are William Macy, Rob Reiner, Brian Dennehy, R Ravine Simone, Robert Wagner. Pretty good voices there. Hopefully the digital code is good and then it will be in our giveaway next time. Oh, sorry. Sorry, this is out of order. And then I found this. I'm not sure if I already have this, but I grabbed it anyway. The Adventures of Aquaman, the complete collection, 36 cartoons and two discs to complete my DC Aquaman collection. This looks good too. Then I found this, The Killing House. But it's a slip cover, but it's all ripped. But I didn't care, I wanted the slip. Look at the back, that's gruesome. And it also comes with two bonus movies, uh, Headhunter and Curtains. And this movie's about, by a weird twist of fate, three near strangers end up in prison in a mansion, thrown into a game that none of them wanted to play. They must keep killing each other until the winner has amassed enough kills to leave the grounds of the house. Whoa. Here's, it's the same. I really can't move the slipcover because it's so ripped. But it was the only one, so I just grabbed it. And then Headhunter and Curtains. And this is an Echo Bridge acquisition. See, it says it right there. The next one I got was a special edition Magnolia 
Severance, another bloody office outing. This looked great, funny, but a type of thriller, comedic thriller. The Office Meets the Eyes Have Hills. It's good, gory fun. The best horror comedy in years. And this one is working nine to five is a real killer, but team building vacations can sometimes be worse. Oh, that's hilarious. And let's see who's starring in this. Uh, Danny Dyer, Laura Harris. Mm, nobody I really know, but it's a Magnolia release, so it's gotta be good. The next one, another Tom and Jerry show. Uh, 13 episodes on two discs. Funny side up. Funny side up. You can tell it's the modern day Tom and Jerry. The animation is different. Hmm. And then I found this. It's a BBC. Damien Lewis, double feature. Much ado about nothing. And Friends and Crocodiles. I was happy to find this. Uh, he's such a great actor. Billions. Home. Keen. He's, it's, I'm sorry. It, Homeland, sorry. These are in his earlier, uh, early movies in his career. Okay. Oh, and then we... We'll get to the DVD. I mean, we'll get to the Blu-rays. Then I found another um, pack, Deadly Inferno, two bonus movies, Fire and the Day the Earth Exploded, with a slip. Echo Bridge again. And this is all about rescue. Uh, an explosion in a high-rise office building leads to a group of employees trapped on the eighth floor. Firefighter Ray Michael Xavier finds himself attempting to lead the employees to safety. And then, let's see, I don't... And then the fire from below has Kevin Sarbo in it. Sorbo, remember him? And then the day the sky exploded, I don't recognize anyone. There you go. If you can, you want to read the back. Okay. And then the next one. I had to get this. When I was a kid, every Christmas I would watch it. It's the Rankin and Bass remastered. Twas the night before Christmas. I will surely be putting this in this year. I remember this cartoon like it was yesterday. Oh, memories. And this is a Warner Brothers release. Uh, then I found this, Crescent, and two bonus movies, Hindsight and Memory. This also came with a slipcover, and it was in good condition. Wasn't ripped. This one is a, it's a, about, hold on. Crescent is about Beth, a painter, and her toddler son, Retreat to the solitude of a remote seaside cottage after the death in the family. As the two to attempt to rebuild their lives, the strange resident of Crescent Beach make their presence known. Oh. Oh, that sounds great. And then the two bonus movies, Hindsight and Memory, I don't recognize anyone. It is another Echo Bridge. And now to the Blu-rays. I had a nice stack. Um, I think most of them are going to be at the Dollar Tree, but eh, I got it early. I'm happy. Who knows if my Dollar Trees are going to have it. So I found Frank Grillo's Beyond Skyline. I heard everyone said it was good. I liked the first movie. I'll probably love this one too. And then the Steven Seagal Attrition. I noticed that he had a lot of good... Um, Chinese martial artist in it, in this film. So, now that he's older, Steven Seagal hardly moves, so I guess the other martial arts stars will make up for him not moving too much. Attrition. That was an Echo Bridge. Then I found Shadow Dancer. Oh, this was a surprise to find. I thought I had this in my collection, and I didn't, with Clive Owen. And... Gillian Anderson from the X-Files. Gripping 
impeccably crafted, compelling performance. It's a Magnolia release. Oh, great. Uh, the sticker covered it. It is a political thriller. The next one I found. Uh-oh. Loose disc. I got to open it. I think this was also a blue. I only got a DVD on a Dollar Tree haul last year. The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. Now I have it on Blu-ray. And I have to fix that loose disc. It's really irritating. It wasn't shaking yesterday. Anyway, this is a, let's see, Gavin Stone is a former child star whose hard partying, partying ways get him into trouble, forcing him to do 200 hours of community service at a church in his hometown. Oh, no wonder it has a dove seal of approval. Oh, I get it. The res, oh, okay. I came late to that movie. Sorry. The next one I found, The Life Before Her Eyes, Uma Thurman and Evan Rachel Wood. I just bought this movie at the regular price. But now I can watch it and keep one in pristine condition. Your life can change in an instant. This is... um about this this is um she's this is her when she's older uma plays her as an, an adult it's about a girl who um survives a oh it doesn't say but i know what it's about anyway uh <laughs> this girl experiences some trauma in her high school life and it affects her adult life i don't want to give the movie away the next movie, I, oh, <laughs> I was so excited to find this. City Slickers, classic, classic. Jack Palance, Billy Crystal, Bruno Kirby. Who hasn't watched this? Oh, you're missing out. It is hilarious. City Slickers. It's about the City Slickers going on a Western adventure. Hmm, <laughs> funny. The next one. Oh, we just talked about Get Shorty, the movie. I found it also in a pile at the bottom of the barrel at the 99 cent store. John Travolta, Gene Hackman, Rene Russo, Danny DeVito. Get Shorty, the movie. And then I found this crushed, so I have to change it. And I know this is our also at the Dollar Tree. Danny Trejo, Border Cross. Double feature and Chavez, Chavez, Cage of Glory. Chavez, what am I saying? Double feature, Danny Trejo. But wow, the case is cracked. I got to replace it. That bothered me. And then I found this and I was very happy. I know it's at the Dollar Tree too. I was going to buy it at Walmart, but now I didn't have to. Jack Hunter uh, and the Lost Treasure of Ugaret. Is he trying to be like a modern day Indiana Jones? Anyway, I love action adventure movies. Another Echo Bridge. See? Echo Bridge is good. I think that's it. We covered everything. Let's see. I don't see anything else. Okay, folks. So, I will hit the Dollar Trees again. Hopefully, I'll find all those good stuff that I see all the other people getting. All those delicious-looking Blu-rays. Anywho, let's end the video. This is a long one. I'm so sorry. I kept talking too much. So, don't forget our contest. Pick a number between 1 and 150. You must be a subscriber to my channel. Submit your guests in the comments select section. The winning number is the closest number without going over. And the number will be picked by the random generator. And please double check that your number that you selected has not been already submitted. So you can select another number. And if you want to see, oops, sorry, you want to see the prize again? 
you can either pick the three digital codes right there or the box of Dollar Tree movies. Okay, we covered everything. Oh boy, we covered everything. And Go Hunter out. Arrivederci. Please like, subscribe. Remember, ask everyone to subscribe. Get gather around and tell subscribe to Goy Hunter on YouTube. Subscribe. Comment below with your uh, your guess for the digital codes or the box of movies, and hit that notification button so you know the next time I'm gonna put out another vid, which will be very soon. Because I still got to show you the Criterion. And I went to Big Lots. And I love my Stinky Tuna guy. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. I already said that. Peace. Love you. Don't forget to wear your mask.